Philip, thank you for your time tonight. First of all, how has it been managing England so far and how has that been different so far to managing in the Netherlands or in Turkey? Uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of things are the same because it's part of your job as a manager. Um, but of course, the, 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 some tradition, some culture is different. Uh, so the way the players used, are used to working, the, 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 uh, the philosophy of the club, uh, the tradition of the club, it's, it's, it's something you, you, uh, you adjust. And I try to put my own philosophy, uh, the way of thinking, approaching the game into the club. Fair enough. Um, you enjoyed a lot of success in your five years at PSV. Um, looking back, what would be your highlights there? Yeah, of course, the, the championships we won, uh, three titles, uh, all quite different in a different way with a different team. Uh, but also uh, in, in the Champions League, we had a great season where we played United and we, we went on uh, in, a, in a very difficult group for us. So it showed that we cannot beat the finances of the big teams, but now and then uh, we can have a success uh, uh, in Europe, like uh, Ajax had also, so that's very positive for Dutch football, I think. You mentioned that with PSV and Ajax in the Champions League. What do you think is the secret to success with Dutch teams in Europe today? Well, to build a squad uh, was a good balance in, in own academy players. Uh, so we, we, we train, we develop them, and. Uh, some players we are able to uh, to get in the team from abroad because I think we're also quite uh, skilled in, in scouting. Yeah. We have to be creative to to, to be able to, to yeah to all the, the big teams who are around mm -hmm. focusing also more on, on young players than, than they used to do in the past. So this is an important part of uh, success. So I see that this is something you clearly want to bring to Derby County as well. Um, in terms of players, are you considering those perhaps in PSV that you've worked with before or others perhaps in your knowledge of the area of the Are these players that you're currently considering at the moment? No, at the moment, uh, not for PSV. Uh, I think also important to look at the league where you play, mm -hmm. the, guy, the, the, the kind of game they play, the opponents you will uh, face. So try to find the balance in the way we want to play football, uh, players who are used to playing in a certain uh, intensity of the game. Um, so at the moment, I'm not, I'm not focused on the PSV uh, players. Okay, um, and with Derby County, um, there's been a lot of positivity around your arrival at the club. I was going to ask you whether you, you think that Derby are one of the favourites promotion this season, given how there's been almost been a lack of spending in the championship so far this summer. I don't, I don't think one of the favourites because mm. uh, the differences between a lot of teams are very small. So it, it's hard to predict who is the favorite, who will go for number one or two. I think the most important, you want the maximum out of your team. Mm -hmm. So we have to look when we start the league, what are the qualities we have in our, our team? How can we play football with the players we, we have on the pitch? And then they have to the demand and we will demand the maximum of those players. And in the end, we will see where, where we can end up. But just to say now, it has to be uh, number two, three, four. It's, it's a very difficult, difficult. difficult league. So let's focus on, on ourselves in our development and what we demand of ourselves during all games we play. Okay, Philip, one more final question for you. Um, you worked a lot with Steven Berghain, especially at PSV. And if you were still his manager now, what would you be recommending him to do with his Future, mm -hmm. Ajax, Sevilla, staying at PSV. Yeah, it's, I'm not uh, his agent, uh, not himself, mm -hmm. but I think it's it's always uh, good for a young player, still very young, um, uh, to get a few seasons in the in the Dutch league as a striker. Uh, he learned and got better every season. So if the player has the feeling he, he cannot step up anymore. Yeah, he will make a decision to to make a step abroad to develop himself to even a higher level, uh, bigger resistance. Uh, don't know if th that's the case uh, at the moment. It's, it's, a, it's a play with really, really big potential. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see what uh, if something happens or not.
Thank you very much, Philip. Okay.